So yeah, it's our pleasure to be here, and thank you, Dr. Wands, for inviting us again to participate in this great event. Um, just a little bit about what we do. Um, I'm the third generation, uh, thankfully, in our family that has been able to practice law in Puyallup. And uh, about 30 years ago, we decided we only wanted to do personal injury work, and so that's how we geared our practice. I'm one of five attorneys that uh, work at our firm. One of the brightest is Adam Dayheim here that <laughs> is uh, volunteered to come and, and do most of the speaking today, and he's put together a great PowerPoint presentation that hopefully will be beneficial for all of you. So as we uh, sat down and we kind of thought about what might be helpful for you as healthcare providers, we came up with four different things. The first uh, is to talk about the standard of proof in a legal case. And the second is causation, the third is damages, and then the fourth thing is a case study, which kind of will hopefully bring it home to you. So come on in, just grab a seat anywhere. Great. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Adam. So Adam Dayheim. So, you know, we, we, we talk about this word personal injury and, you know, what does that mean in the context of, you know, normal people? Well, essentially, it's a, you know, we bring negligence actions, you know, somebody and, you know, the essential attributes of a negligence action, a legal proceeding, you know, you got four basic requirements of that. Yeah, I'll just briefly introduce this so you guys can kind of have a bit of a familiarity of, all right, well, what does this all entail legally? Um, you know, some little legalese here is, you know, basically uh, somebody has a duty. Uh, essentially, you know, duty is, you know, somebody is responsible to do thing, something or not do something. And then you got a breach, well, they failed to do something. Um, you know, I'm sure you guys are very familiar with the standard of care in which you practice medicine. You know, if you fail to stand by that standard of care, there's a breach. Um, similarly, with driving, which most of our uh, causes of action are motor vehicle accidents, you're responsible for ex exercising ordinary care. You're not going to go 90 miles per hour up and down this hill with covered in ice. That would be a breach of your standard of care. Um, the next two, basically causation and damages, are real key in integrating doctors. Um, essentially, we need doctors to evaluate and provide an opinion to correlate causation. Um, are these injuries that our clients are claiming related to the event that uh, gave rise to the breach of standard of care, all right? And so, you know, <clears throat> I put a little cartoon up there basically, oh my gosh, you heard, how would I know? I'm a doctor, not a lawyer. It, well, factually, that's, that's humorous and what have you, but the actuality is that we need doctors uh, to provide the opinion that we use in court. Um, and essentially, to follow that up with damages, essentially, that the medical expenses incurred are related to the injuries sustained, and to talk about, you know, what limitations there were with the patient um, with the injuries. And one of the main attributes goes in and correlates with wage loss. They weren't able to work. Right. Um, uh, I might chime in here, too. There's two types of damages that we uh, go after. The state of Washington does not have punitive or punishment type damages, but we have general damages and special damages. And special damages are, as Adam said, a wage loss, the cost of treatment, cost of future treatment. Um, anything that you can put a calculator to would be, uh, would be special damages. And then general damages are pain, suffering, loss of enjoyment of life, any residual disabilities that um, arise out of the um, uh, the auto accident or the trauma. So. And and again, this is all this is kind of a foundation. Uh, there's going to be a clinic tomorrow. Going to be much more involved in a case study involving you know a testifying doctor. And so a lot of this is just basic legalese to understand what's involved in medical testimony. Um, the first and foremost is a standard of proof. Um, a lot of the times that we're talking with doctors. Uh hey guys, thanks for watching. To continue, please log in or create an account for free. Thank you for your support.